Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to implement abstract factory design pattern from scratch. In this video tutorial, we will discuss abstract factory design pattern examples in JDK. So guys, it is really very important interview question. Uh, when you go for interview, then people may ask you, can you tell me how to implement abstract factory design pattern? If you answer them this question, then immediately they can ask you, can you tell me the few classes within JDK which build uh, on the concept of factory design pattern itself right so here you can see on a screen there are few basically classes i have listed first number document builder factory right which belongs to java xml dot parsers uh, package and which is having a new instance method right so this class is basically follows abstract factory design pattern because new instance method again returns the uh, factory no reference similarly we have another class is called transformer factory right which belongs to the java x dot xml dot transform right which is also a similar methods new instance and that returns the reference of factory itself so this is also built on the top of uh, uh, build on the concept of abstract factory design pattern now last but not the least we have a x path factory which is which is having a new instance method which returns the reference of factory itself right and which belongs to the java x.xml.xpath dot x path package and this all classes is within the uh, uh, jdk itself so let's let me show you so here if you go to the jdk and if you would have a attached jdk uh, source then here you can say document builder factory right and which belongs to the mm -hmm. java x dot java x dot xml dot parsers right so basically this class is basically used for the xml parser right so when you have xml file and if you want to read data from the xml file this class is really very useful so if you look at this class then there is a method is called new instance which returns the reference of factory itself right uh, this is having one overloaded uh, method as well which takes a uh, uh, basically first parameter is string and second parameter is the uh, basically class loader right now next class uh, we were talking about transformer factory if you press ctrl shift t and search for the transformer factory then here you can see this is the class transfer factory belongs to javax.xml.transform and this is having again new instance method right even this uh, class is having an overloaded new instance method which returns reference of factory itself right and last but not not the least we have a x path x path factory right so this class uh, is having again uh, a new instance method which returns the reference of factory and these all three classes are abstract classes right uh, and this uh, basically abstract classes are uh, basically uh, provides you uh, basically a static method so directly you can call by the class name and that returns the again reference of factory itself and uh, that's why this is uh, this is uh, basically follows abstract factory design pattern just I have created on a small this is not needed but still I have created to uh, get the clear understanding of uh, how basically this class has been built on the concept of factory design pattern so just I have created a client program and there I have shown how to make use of document builder factory so document builder factory has a new instance method already have seen this returns the reference of factory itself from factory we can create a document builder and that's what we are creating so once you get the <coughs> reference of document builder factory then you can create a document builder from this document builder you can call the parse method and there you can pass an instance of input source and there you have to pass your xml file which you want to parse so this xml file just i have dumped into my uh, project root folder itself so directly i have given the uh, basically file name now once you get the reference of document from from that you can give the element reference and from this element you can get the child nodes right and and uh, this child node if you look at the xml then this is the root node and which is having one attribute that i want to basically read and that's what uh, this code is does right just i am reading this uh, uh, root node value right which is nothing but id and that i am printing over here after that uh, after that uh, we have some child node right and uh, child node value we want to read right and that's what this code does 
and if I run this application then I can show you so you can see the uh, root node value is getting display ID and uh, age and name gets displayed right so XML parser is itself a itself a, uh, a big subject itself right so if you if you dive dive into this XML parser itself a big topic so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial i hope you should not forget there are three classes document builder factory transformer factory and x path factory these classes are very beautiful example of abstract factory design pattern within the jdk guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial